Naomba niwe baraka kwa wengine. Nisiwe sababu ya yoyote kuanguka. Ah, nisiwe sababu ya yoyote kuanguka. Yaman yeah, is a Swahili gospel song. The gospel has got a lot of message whereby it's only that English translating or changing the music into English language. Hey, to Prince Odinga, this is another task. It's very crazy. I, 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 <laughs> I, won't, I, I, I don't know how to translate, but uh, the message is, uh, for example, Prince Odinga, uh, the message is, let nobody be like, uh, I'm the reason as to why he or she is not progressing very well in life. Uh, like maybe when I react about somebody, uh, maybe people do think that I don't want that person to progress or well, you know, or when I talk about somebody's the, uh, the wrong side of himself or herself, maybe I don't want that person to progress well, very well. That's exactly uh, the message from this gospel of today. Being a Saturday in Kenya, we say that God is good because he has given us this opportunity to see uh, this amazing day, my people. First of all, let me hope that you all doing good, my good people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I know that my supporters, you all good. And for those who maybe you are sick, uh, quick recovery to you all. Prince Odinga, I pray for you. And for maybe for those who lost their loved ones, I say... Let them rest in peace. It's their time and let them just rest in peace and take it easy. It is, uh, that's, how the, that's how life is, you know. So to my returning viewers, my people, thank you so much for always coming back to visit this channel of ours. I appreciate. And to my new subscribers, welcome and thank you so much. I appreciate also for the big support. My people, this video of today, I'm going to react to two videos here. Uh, I am already yesterday made a video of Vin, and at the same time, uh, the uh, Vin's best close friend, uh, he also made a video whereby uh, it's a sad news from Vin's friend. When I watched Vin's friend's video, I just felt like crying. I felt like, why Vin? Why Vin? And it's very emotional. So I'm going to deliver the good news which I received from Maro about Vin and Lane. And again, I'm going to let you know the sad news from Vinny's friend. Uh, Victor yesterday he made a video also. Uh, and uh, this really shows that Victor is a, is a, is a good friend. He's a, he's a real friend to Vin actually. We have been thinking that, oh, maybe Victor is the wrong person. Maybe Victor is uh, advising uh, Vin in a wrong way. Maybe Victor is not the person maybe we expected. But in the real, I can assure you that Victor is the person. is the real G. But uh, first of all, let me start with Aya Maura's message to Vin and Len. And from there, guys, I want to let you know exactly what is happening between uh, Vin himself. Things are not good back in Tanzania where he wo he went after being paid a flight with v Victor. Things are not good, my people. So, guys, this is gonna be the first reset here as we proceed to the uh, to Victor's video. And I don't want this video to be long, my people. And uh, what I wanna request you is just like the video. As we proceed, drop your comment about what maybe you think of this video of today. You know, you are free to comment. You are free to advise. You are free to give your own opinion. And I always respect your opinions. So guys, this is going to be the first reset here. Bless me as I say, God bless you a million times. You will be blessed because I believe in the power of just saying things. All right. Uh, Liverpool... Lassa say so sad about Vinny and Lenny. I don't want to talk about them. And the thing is, uh, initially I thought it is a joke, like uh, maybe it's just a joke. But I think I'll call I'll call my brother to know what happened. But that does not mean I'll I'll tell you what happened. No, those are grown grown people, and they know what they want in their lives. 
But all I know is these interracial relationships can be really tough. Really tough, guys. They could be really tough. Because sometimes we have cultural differences. And also I tend to think also from the families, each, each, each of us families, sometimes they would prefer you dating your own. In this case, for example, if I'm Kenyan, I date, or if I'm black, I date black. If I'm white, I date white. So sometimes that, that can bring a lot of issues, guys. And um, that's why sometimes people are just happy to break you down, to say things. Like me, I've promised myself, anyone after my kid is born, anyone who will be coming after my family on social media, it will be a lawsuit. That one I've said, I've said, and I will still repeat. Once I have my kid born, anyone coming after my family, like trying to destroy and, 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 and reacting and saying this, it will be a lawsuit. No matter where you are, it will be a lawsuit. That one I have promised myself because I'm always a soft-spoken guy. I don't like chasing people or chase, like, like let's meet in court. I'm not that type of guy. Sometimes I watch videos and say, these guys are just hungry. They are looking for money through my name. But I thought, no, it's not good. Like, for example, for them, they have broken up. And then people are taking sides. Oh, we saw you suffering. We saw you are not happy. Oh, we knew this was... No. Think this was happening to you, you know? Think this was happening to you. Sometimes be kind, support people, you know? I know some people are born with very dark hearts. Like they they can't see, they just want to see you fall so that they can be happy because other people are like, I don't know how they call them, narcissistic. That when, when something bad happens to you, that's when they are happy and they clap. But, you know, Always be mindful of other people's family, you know. Family is everything. Yeah, so it's sad for them that they broke up. Actually, I discovered that yesterday with Rocio. And uh, we watched even one of the videos. And uh, R, thank you so much. R, Val, Val, I don't know how to, Valgan. He says you're such a good person. Thank you so much. You know, uh, the thing I've realized with me is people people that I try sometimes to build are the ones that try to destroy me the, the most. Like there's a guy making videos saying I have given him calls to come and see me and he has refused to come. And I've never given this guy. Yes, very, very many times, you know. Yes. So that is some of these things I was telling you is interracial relationships sometimes are very hard and again sometimes we get so much attacked from even social media and they will always try to find a reason why you guys should fight uh, but at the same time one thing i always tell for myself i tell rocio is uh, let's have a relationship between me and her not me and my mom and her or me, her friends, and her, or me and my boys, and her, no. Yes, my people, I hope you have heard from Marwa, Marwa side, about Vin and Lane. But uh, before we can talk about Vin and Lane and the message from Marwa, uh, there is a message which I've just realized that uh, is uh, also uh, concerned Prince Odinga. Yesterday, I made a video about uh, this man known as Mogesi. Whereby Mogesi the other day he made a video saying that he received a call from Maro, an emergency call from Maro, uh, that uh, he attended the party there, but he refused. So uh, Maro just decided to make it clear after watching my video because, uh, Yaman, yeah, what I delivered is well, it was right. So Maro decided to make a video to make it clear that he never, he never make a call to this young man known as Mogesi. Uh, just Mogesi decided to wash his heart, I don't know, to, to brag that I will receive the call from Marwa. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that young man. Let him do what he feels is good. Yeah, let him do what he feels is comfortable. But uh, the fact is one day, uh, God is the only person who knows where he will fix this man. 
So let's come back to this video of uh, Marwa and uh, the message to, uh, from Marwa to Vin. I think uh, all the message which, uh, all the points which Marwa have said, uh, I've been talking about them. The color, this is a white lady of ours. Uh, this is a black man from Africa. Uh, this is our culture. This is what we do. I love my family more than this my wife people reacting about Vin and Lane also giving them hard time to understand each other I think all the points guys have been talking about about them I've, I've delivered exactly what Maro has said uh, and uh, I'm happy that uh, what Maro has said about them is he wished them all the best because uh, nothing is impossible and uh, we believe that anything can happen any miracle can take place, you know. It is still early, and uh, I personally, I do believe that, uh, for example, maybe have a girlfriend or a wife, uh, we divorce. What I do believe is, unless my wife, the ex-wife, uh, she has got married to another man, it's when I'll decide now that uh, let me just move on with my life. Let me now look for another girlfriend or let me look for another wife to marry. But uh, with their, their case, uh, everybody, every person is doing his uh, or her own business. But uh, we also believe that anything can still happen. Anything can still happen. I've been hearing people talking that Lenny is having a boyfriend from the other side of America. It's not a big deal. It is the same thing maybe we'll hear that Vin is having a boyfriend, a uh, girlfriend, sorry. But uh, the fact is we want... To see them progressing well and it will happen as long as we will give them advice as long as we will pray for them nothing is impossible yeah man that was up to ayamaro's message now guys again yesterday uh Vinny's friend victor made a video and i just feel like let me just show you the video so that we can proceed and make it a day guys show let me show you this one here just a very close friend and I've never forgiven myself. <laughs> because the commitment is right there. The same. <laughs> when he lost his family, when he lost his job, the wife left him. And he was denied access to his children. And this broke him to the core. I came into this situation to help Vin. Because... <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> I was afraid the time this would take. <laughs> and this is the time that this is all I've taken. Uh, I am not the kind of person who would want to see anyone fall. And I, oh, oh, to see anyone in such a situation, and it hurts me that this had to happen when I publicly had come to save to save Vin in this whole situation. My name has been tainted. Oh. My name has been dated. Uh, information has been shared to taint his name and paint it a bad person. But Vin is a young person. He is a young person. He deserves to live again. And this is the... Oh, I'm gonna be strong.
and post this video. I need your prayers in this case. Pray for Vin. Pray for Vin. He's been admitted. Oh. Oh. The doctors have assured me. But it still hurts me to be part of this. Please, I need prayers for Vin. I don't know where to head. I don't know where to start. But I need your prayers for Vin. I need him alive. I need, I will do everything in my power, but I would not forgive myself. I would never forgive. Uh, guys, uh, this is a very emotional uh, video. Whereby, even to me personally, after I watched this man, the man who always tell Vinny to stay strong, the man who has always been advising Vin that no matter all the situation, you need to stand. A good mentor to Vin. When I watched this video, I just felt like crying also. Because it is not easy to see a man. A man crying on camera. Despite all the challenges which maybe you are going. The challenges which we do undergo. I felt very emotional. I felt very emotional. Uh, Vini, uh, he has been going through a lot of challenges, but the fact is he has never come on camera to cry, showing tears. But he do stand as a man. This friend of him, he have really felt it. Why me? Or am I the wrong, the wrong friend to Vin? Or am I the wrong uh, mentor, wrong advisor to Vin? That's why maybe Vin is losing this. That's why Vin has lost his uh, wife. And all stuff. The guy has really made this to feel something else. Victor is really a friend to Vin. It is not easy. I've been into this platform for so long. And... Uh, I've never seen such a, such, such, such a video whereby a man is blaming himself. Maybe I'm the reason as to why this man is not progressing. Maybe I'm the reason as to why these people have parted, they have divorced. Because guys, people do judge that maybe their friends are the big deal here. Because when you hear from Eleni's side, she do say that She's having her own friends, a friend who advised her uh, about the situation in which she was going. And she decided to follow the friend's message. The other side of Vin, Vin do say that I do get advice from my, uh, my, my close friend of mine. Uh, she, he do advise me and I always respect him. So the Lazy Gang mostly they have been saying that the friends, both friends side, the side both Vinny's friends, and uh, Lenny's friends, those are the people who have just included and make this to happen. But uh, guys, I feel very emotional and I feel very, uh, very sorry uh, to my brother Victor. This is not something somebody can pretend. It's very hurtful. Uh, actually, we don't know exactly what uh, the, how, uh, the, the like uh, where Vin is sick. We don't know the exact uh, problem to Vin right now. The man really tried to tell the people, but I think it was very emotional to speak on camera. We don't know the condition right now between Vin. To some point, we do agree that let it be, as I used to tell you about this situation. Like, if it has been, it, if uh, they have decided to, to divorce, it's okay. But guys, divorcing and life, those are two different things. What we want to see is the good progress. We want to see Vinny's progress despite the challenges. We want to see Lenny's progress from her side. We want to see if things won't work, we want to see Le Lenny getting married to another person. It will be okay. We want to see Vinny finding the right person, the right woman to marry. It will be okay. 
But what we do pray is we want them to uh, to live peacefully, to progress in a good way. I'm very emotional and uh, I say that the Almighty Lord, the Almighty Lord who brought them together as wife and husband, the Almighty Lord who also say that these people won't go together, won't, won't make it together, and maybe they divorced because of the unknown reasons which maybe if they could have continued to be together, maybe something worse could have happened. But all the things do happen because of our Almighty God. What I can say is, let's put them in prayers. And let's pray to our, our brother Vin. We know it's very difficult. It is very difficult. I don't know what to talk about this. But my people, let's now look, not talk about the color. Let's now uh, not judge that this is an African man right now, he's suffering. This is a white woman uh, right now, uh, she's suffering. Let's just pray for them. Let's pray, pray for Vin. My people, let's meet in the next video. Drop what you think of this video of today. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also guys, uh, share the video where possible. Blessings to you all my people. I love you. Blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much my people.